Margaret, congratulations. Thank you very much, Jackie. I'm absolutely thrilled. Um, did you think you would top the poll? No, no, did not see this coming. Uh, I thought maybe a struggle for the third seat. Uh, now, I did see a bit of wind behind us the last few weeks, and I have a fantastic team behind me, and, you know, this, this is our day. So a, a joint effort paid off. How does it feel to make history? Just surreal, you know, and delighted to make history, obviously, for the right reasons and very, very good reasons. And hard to believe I'm going to be in the history books forever now because of this, you know. And I think it'll open up for other women to, you know, to see that this is possible and this is doable. So delighted with that. It's been said that you've united the party. In Cork Southwest, it's notoriously fractious with two distinct camps. Do you believe that you've united the party? Yes, very much believe that I have. And it's something that I actually did set out to do anyway. And it, it has worked, definitely. I think um, the split has been left in the past and we're going to work together now. And, you know, the world is our oyster from now on. And I have another question. I've been looking at the numbers, and you polled particularly well right across the constituency. You were neck and neck with Jim uh, Daly in Bandon, and right down as far as Barra. Can you tell me about your campaign and how you achieved that? Yes, I was selected to run for Fianna Fáil on the 21st of June last. So on the 23rd of June, I started knocking on doors. It started in Bandon, my own hometown, and moved east and west from there so I put in a Trojan campaign I've called to nearly everybody in, you know every town every village every everyone in the country I set out to try and meet as many people as I could myself my team then took over in the last month or two and I think this shows that hard work honesty and perseverance pays off it has been said, and everybody has a, like a critical um, comment for every candidate, yes. there's always something. And it has been said that you're inexperienced. Um, do you believe that to be the case, or are you relishing the challenge? Absolutely relishing the challenge. Um, it has been said to me um, that I am inexperienced. Now, I've had 10 years on a town council, nearly two on the county, 48 years experience of life. So I'd ask anyone to take me on with any, anything that they think I have no experience in. I'm up for this fight. It's also been said that you're ambitious. Very, very ambitious politically, yeah. So watch out. Very good. Watch this space. And what do you think you can deliver for Cork Southwest? I think a fairer recovery is essential for here and going forward any so-called recovery needs to be felt down here because it hasn't it hasn't yet and there's other issues like roads need a huge injection of cash childcare health i mean you, i could be here all night really you know but what i'm promising to do is to make sure that i you know i will fight for everything for cork south west i love here i love the people here and i'm going to die fighting for them and I was talking to your husband earlier and he said wonderful things. He said he'll be doing more housework from here on in. <laughs> yes. But he's, he's your number one supporter. Absolutely. And without Paddy, I, I wouldn't be here today doing this and talking to you. He's been absolutely A1 since we met. I suppose he's known that I'm politically ambitious, so that was no surprise to him. But without him and my two sons, John and Philip, this would not have been possible. So I want to thank the three men in my life. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jackie.